What's going on guys, it's Boxing Lowdown and I'm back here with another video. Now don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment if you like and I'll happily get back to you. Now let's move on away from the whole, you know, comeback talks, the Mike Tyson, the Evander Holyfields, you know, the James Tony, Oscar De La Hoya. Let's move away from all of that for a minute and let's talk about some other boxing that's going on, some other boxing news. I know that there's not a lot going on right now, but like I said, I'm going to try and bring some sort of news to this channel every day and, um, you know, see what you guys think about it. So... I was watching, um, I think it's called the Lockdown po Podcast or something on Matrim Boxing anyway, and um, it's hosted by Chris Lloyd and it had Dimitri Bivol on there and I thought it was a very interesting um, interview that he gave. He was speaking about obviously the possibility of um, becoming a unified champion at £175, fighting Artur, Artur Baturbiev, uh, his fellow Russian compatriot. That would be an amazing fight, man. One of the top fights that I want to see. I think I did a list not too long ago and Baturbiev and Bivol was in there as one of them that I really want to see. Two undefeated fighters, um, Dimitri Bivol on the brink of probably cracking the light heavyweight division in terms of he probably like number two, just behind Baturbiev, who is on the pound for pound list now after defeating Vostik and uh, unifying the division. You know, he's got the IBF and the WBC light heavyweight titles. Uh, Bivol has got the WBA title. So um, these two getting together, it would be widely considered that whoever wins that fight would become the number one, well, it would be the number one in the division. It's you're not widely recognised that Baturbiev is number one right now, but um, whoever wins out of that fight, um, yeah, I mean, it's as close to being as undisputed as you can get without having all of the belts between them two. So, um, listen, yeah, I'd love to see Baturbiev and Bivol get at it, and um, hopefully it can be made. I mean, I don't think it'll be too difficult to make, uh, Baturbiev is with top rank Bob Arum, uh, Bivol is with Matchroom Boxing, uh, so um, Bob Arum and Eddie Hearn have worked together numerous times in the past and um, I don't think it'll be an issue for them to work together again, so um, yeah, I think that that would be a very good fight to make and I think that it could happen down the line, but also interestingly enough, Dimitri Bivol said that he'd be willing to drop down in weight to take on Callum Smith, now Callum Smith is in need of a big fight man, uh, for sure. He was in the Canelo sweepstakes like everybody was. I mean, everybody wants to fight Canelo. It looked like that Billy Joe Saunders was going to get the crack. Obviously, before this whole COVID-19 um, came about, it looked like it was going to be Billy Joe and Canelo on May the 2nd. However, there was no fight formally announced for that. And it's kind of up in the air now. We don't even know like when boxing does resume, whether Canelo will go for Billy Joe Saunders again or whether he'll just like try and go for Triple G or somebody else because Canelo has all the options in the world. He can do what he wants. And Dimitri Bivol knows that, like, if one, he said that he would love, love to fight Canelo, but again, how many people are wanting to fight Canelo right now? So he turned his attention to Callum Smith, and like I said, Callum Smith was in the sweepstakes as well to fight Canelo Alvarez, didn't get it, and, um, you know, it's kind of a, like, what's next for him, you know? The super middleweight division does have some good fighters in there, uh, it does have Caleb Plant, it does have Benavidez there, and Callum Smith can look to unify against those guys, although it may be quite difficult working with the PBC for Matchroom, um, at the end of the day, I think that it would be great for him to do that. But if not, Dimitri Bivol is an easy fight to make, considering that he's also under the matchroom banner and um, he's willing to drop down in weight. Would Callum Smith take it? You know, it would be a very difficult fight for him. I think the two met as amateurs, they was, uh, Bivol was saying on the podcast. They actually met as amateurs before and Bivol won that. So, um, yeah, I'd be all up for seeing that showdown if um, certain fights could not be made, if Callum Smith can't get the big fights that he wants. Maybe he should look at a fight against Dimitri Bivol. Maybe he should move up and challenge Bivol for his title. That would make more sense than Bivol moving down. It made more sense for Callum to move up and try and pick a portion of the title there. But who knows, man? Um, you know, obviously it's just talk right now. But listen, if it did get made, I'd be very one. In, I'd be an interested spectator. Put it that way. So um, yeah, obviously it's just you know talk right now. Uh, like I said, a lot of interviews floating around, like a lot of people just talking, a lot of comeback talks being mentioned. So uh, until we actually get boxing resuming, then we can start forecasting when, you know, the possibility of these fights can happen. But at the moment, it's all up in the air because we don't even know, um, well, we do know that boxing is scheduled to return back in June, but there's nothing being formally announced yet. So um, let me know what you guys think about it anyway, man. Dimitri Bivol and Callum Smith, uh, that's a potentially exciting fight. One that could be made pretty easily if Dimitri Bivol can get down to 168 pounds. Uh, Callum Smith has flirted with the idea of moving up to 175, so I don't think it'd be that hard to make in terms of weight. 
Um, like I said, the promotion in it, these are the same, so we don't have to worry about that. And um, both men are undefeated, you know, let's get it on. I'd much rather see um, Bivol fight Baturbiev, to be honest, but um, if not, I'd entertain the fight with Callum Smith as well. I think that would be a very good scrap. So drop your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. Let me know what you guys think about it, and I'll catch you on the next video tomorrow. What's happening guys, it's Boxing Lowdown here. Click the link in my bio and check out some of our brand new t-shirts which have just been restocked. We have white, yellow, red and black, all going for the low price of £15. Thank you guys again for tuning in and I'll make sure to catch you on the next video.